what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i'm talking about halloween in this video here today so i just want to address like two things that i would want to see not two things that i think are the best because obviously you could have a new idea brought up that might end up being better than anything you see floating around on youtube but when it comes to the halloween franchise and what's next because we know that michael myers will undoubtedly return or at least to this ip with the title of halloween will return in some fashion whether that be an anthology route or just going back to an old timeline doing something maybe furthering the remix from rob zombie or just starting a completely fresh new timeline this will be back michael myers is not done that's why everyone involved with the last three movies has recognized halloween ends as the end of their iterations that they've been telling us since 2018 michael myers and the cash cow that it is will return eventually to produce more money that's just how this works so there's two things that i'm thinking of right now that i would like to see again these are not the things i would say are the best because there obviously could be a better idea out there somewhere that could be sprung from a different creative mind that actually gets to make the movie one thing i've been thinking about i don't know if anyone else has touched on this is the idea of doing a proper sequel to halloween 6. now this is coming from someone who isn't even the biggest fan of halloween 6 but there are some redeeming qualities about halloween 6 that i think you could still utilize to push forward while leaving behind some of the lesser aspects of halloween 6 such as the curse of thorn leave that back similar to, similar to how halloween h2o was originally going to be tied to that movie and wasn't really touching too much on that thorn stuff it was kind of being left at the wayside while still keeping those events canon so in my mind i would love to see a true sequel to halloween 6 where you have kara back you have tommy back um you have steven back who we know is jamie's jamie's son and then you have Danny, I believe his name is. All of those characters, I would love to see them back in like their own legacy sequel. It could be done in a way in which they have been living as a family over the past however many years, I'll say 20 at this point, just so Steven can be an adult in the movie. And the concerns of where Michael is and whether or not he'd be coming after them has remained fresh in their mind because we know at the end of Halloween 6, Michael Myers is revealed to have not been killed by the attack that Tommy put onto him with that lead pipe <laughs> with the green ooze coming out of him. Uh, we see that that did not really do anything. Michael is still alive. We hear Dr. Loomis screaming or depending on if you watch the producer's cut, that's revealed to be the case of Loomis discovering Michael in the halls after a different ending occurred and he takes the mask off and it's Dr. Wynn behind the mask and Michael has taken his clothes and he's walking off looking like the undertaker looking back just like the undertaker <laughs> so you, depending on which any you get you could work with that so michael has been gone for the past however many years again i'll say 20 just so steven can be an adult in this upcoming sequel steven has been living with these people that are pretending to be his parents they even though we know that they're not tommy uh and uh Kara and danny who at this point is believed to be his own brother and they've been keeping a secret from him the fact that they're that he's not theirs uh and that he is related to michael myers he's the son of jamie lloyd something could go down where he discovers that he's the son of jamie lloyd and he finds out about michael myers and maybe you either have a narrative play out where he goes hunting for michael myers or michael myers and for whatever reason something happens where michael discovers where steven is tracks steven down starts going after steven and his group of friends which leads of course to a battle occurring between uncle and nephew or in this case because i know in the producer's cut he's revealed as his own father i would leave that out i would just leave it as michael fighting his nephew i would not want to go down the rabbit hole of talking about the fact that that's michael's son and it came from his own niece that's disgusting so you could do that or again steven could go down a rebellious route after finding out the truth discover michael and that's where michael's return comes into play he he goes looking and he doesn't like what he finds because that ends up bringing michael back to haddonfield uh and that ends up putting the whole town of haddonfield in trouble while michael tries to hunt steven down now of course the questions obviously would be how does how does he know what steven looks like i cannot think of that for that far right now but i'm just thinking about a, an idea related to doing a sequel to halloween 6. the other true idea that i know many people would love to see is something related to jamie lloyd 
Not a lot of people are are starting to want to see this due to recent comments by Daniel Harris. I'm just speaking solely about the character at this point. The character of Jamie Lloyd doing a proper sequel to Halloween 4. I would do it in a way that has been expressed over on Dave McRae's channel. I'll leave a link to this video in the description. Have this set many years later, Danielle Harris's character of Jamie Lloyd has been in Smith's Grove this entire time. She's never left Smith's Grove. She's been in there for the same amount of time that Michael Myers has been in there, plus a few more years to accommodate her age. Uh, at times when she it looks like she was going to be released that's been squandered by some things that have gone on in the asylum due to negligence or bad behavior from her so what you have play out is bodies start dropping around the set of smith's grove they think it's jamie it's not jamie you hype it up get people to even doubt that it's actually actually michael back and start to convince your artist that it truly is jamie only of course to reveal that it's been michael this entire time and he returned for his niece after all these years coming down to track her as miss grove why did he wait this long i don't know i don't i doubt they would explain it similar to how they don't explain why he waited 20 years to come after lori or why he waited four years to come back to haddonfield and halloween ends we we get to see it visualized and get some context for it in ends of course but with h2o that's com completely left up in the air that's one thing i love about the 2018 movie so well they give some rationale to why he's been gone for 40 years because we know he's been locked up for 40 years so in this instance it will be kind of just the same old thing he was he was gone for several years because he he was gone for several years because he just chose to be but that's what i would do if you're going to go back down the rabbit hole of daniel harris's character jamie lloyd bring jamie lloyd back and do it in a way that acknowledges the events of halloween 4 said it several years later she's locked up in smith's grove people can start dying around smith's grove you hype it up and build tension get people to doubt what they're seeing but it's done in the, in the style of pov shots you can even do it in a way in which it's plausible that there was jamie because of how the movie's framed but then over time and through the movie's runtime it's revealed in this big grand reveal that has been michael myers you could even get rachel back and maybe have someone stand in for dr loomis since we know donald pleasance isn't here with us unfortunately those are some ideas that i have in mind as it pertains to what you could do next with halloween let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video